kind of a, like, not to blow myself up, it's a big deal for me at least. Like, I'm. Why? Well, so like back in 2015 when I was first starting like in the sport, I made this list of all these goals and everything I wanted to. If you really scroll back, you can find them on my Instagram, right? It's like all this stuff. A bunch of it was completely wrong because I didn't know how the sport worked. I thought it was way more strength bias, blah, blah, blah. But one of the things is win, win a regional and it's fitness goals through 2022. That's like when I said I wanted to make it to the games by and now it's the year I kind of want to, if I'm going to stick around, I like want to win it. And within those fitness goals, one was win, win a regional. And I remember when regionals went away and sanctions format, I was like, well, I guess you got to try to fight, try to win a sanctional now. But in my head, it was one of those things like it's still going to be very, very hard to do. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not, find reasons like I'm not the best athlete at sanctionals because of this or that. There's always going to be somebody or, you know, um, didn't really believe I could do it. And then, uh, after yesterday, I was sitting in first and I was like, you know what, like, I was, it was something I posted too, but I said, if someone's got a, going to win this and there's no reason it shouldn't be you, like, you've worked hard enough to do it and your skills are there, the workout's probably going to be yeah. something, like, that, that you can handle, you're prepared, like, trust your work, so, yeah. I think it's crazy um, for sort of regular people or regular athletes to hear that even elite level athletes get in their own heads like Absolutely. that sometimes. Absolutely. Live there, yeah. And, and live there. What, what do you do when you're there? When you're like, I don't know if, if, if I can do this, if I could win this, all that stuff. Uh, for me, it's definitely reaching out and talking to folks. Um, yeah. So I got a couple of really good friends. Uh, the the Meat Squad people, like Dex, Kelly, Brooke, like I always talk to them before events. Um, just my buddies in general, but like they weren't here to, this time. I think I mentioned in the last interview, so I, I was really happy that everyone was really receptive and like good at getting back to me all weekend because um, I, I needed that like support to, to at least feel like I could do it, even if they, you know, they might not actually think I can, but if they tell me I can, that makes it a little bit easier to, you know, go out and do it. So. I bet they think you can. Sorry, I'm burping. I That's drank okay. a bunch of water. It's time for the pee test. Totally so. allowed. So, but you've already qualified, obviously, before this. Now, again, at the top of the podium. So, the rest of the season looks like what, considering the fact that Gaines uh, is already a shoe in? Looks like a. Uh, Probably one less. I don't know which one I'm going to drop, but we have a bunch of like with the Army Warrior Fitness Team, where the sanctuals events serve as segues into recruiting as well. So like we go into an area, we'll do the event, we'll stick around, like go to school and uh, talk to the kids and everything. So um, my schedule is pretty heavy because of that. I'd like to probably back out of one um, at this point so I can let my body rest because yeah. I'm really hurt. Uh, and if you watch my cleans, you'll know that those were, it was rough. Body, body's hurt right now, so okay. I like, probably need some time to rest so I can be ready in August, so I don't have a definitive answer of what that looks like just yet.